Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? Oh my god. I can see my house from here. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to the Journey of Life. I decided to come back to this game. They've been doing a lot of work on it. Uh, they've uh, actually, I think they've rewritten the game entirely. Uh, introduced a whole bunch of new mechanics, changed recipes, and as you can see, they have changed the map. Uh, I have been on here a little while, a little while ago, checking out uh, the new updates as they were coming out. And I did have a look in there. There is actually like a city in there call it a town city whatever but there's like NPCs in there and stuff like that but I don't think they're currently in implemented that's the word I'm looking for but anyways this is a uh, journey of life if you don't know what this is is a uh, similar island survival building game similar to stranded deep and other games like that uh, they have changed one of the things in the last since the last update and that is there is no longer multiple different types of sticks and stones um, Let's actually go up here. We're getting away from the, the, the waves. But they have done a complete revamp on the map. Um, there's, as you know, there's different types of trees. They've changed it now to there's just one stick, one rock, one log. Even though visually they look the same, or look different, it all works the same as crafting materials. But this is a new map. It's actually quite interesting. And like I said, I did some exploring up there, and I was like, they got these watchtowers up here. Don't really see them right now. I don't know if they took them out in this recent update, but they're definitely there. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new uh, things to build. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. I did see if I could uh, turn Mother Nature down, but uh, apparently the volume settings don't actually work right now. Uh, so we'll just have, hope that doesn't get too obnoxious. I hope it's not coming too, too loud to the recording. Uh, but yeah, this is how it is. Uh, things have changed, like the, the waterfall where we're getting uh, the iron isn't there anymore. Yes, I do have to watch out for these guys. They will aggro on me. And, uh, oh, let's get away from that. Leave him be. There's a little area over here I actually want to go start getting set up and probably run over there. Um, I'm trying to find some, I'm trying to find a easy access to water. And there's a spot over here where you can go. But yeah, I wanted to check it out. Like, they changed a whole bunch of things. Like, we don't need to clay molds anymore for tools. It's all done with, uh, a smelting, oh, it's a, uh, I think it's a smelting furnace and a forge or something like that. We'll figure that out. But yeah, here we go. We go do the usual routine. Go around picking up sticks and stones. And we do have to get some plant fibers. And I was having trouble finding plant fibers. Like I always do it when I play a game for the first time in a while. And it's a matter of just punching a bush. So I'm going to do this for a few minutes and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. I did manage to go into the Windows Volume Mixer and turn it down a little bit, and hopefully that works out a little bit. But I do have some stuff on here, as you can see on the, the left here. Let's go over here where you can actually see it a little bit better, hopefully. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, so uh, I do have some sticks, rocks, branches, and uh, some plant fibers. Plant fibers, of course, like in all games, and it'll make fiber rope. So I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of these, and then we'll make some tools. I'm going to make it all up. And then we'll get into building like crafting stations and stuff like that. Now for that, I need eight sticks and two branches. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that. And it's still crafting. So while it's doing that, let's go take a look. I want to see if there's any closer water. Like I know I can go down through here and I can actually access the beach from this little spot down here. You know, let's uh, explore. We might have to clear this whole area out. We're going to... Need some wood anyways, right? I keep hearing these noises. I'm worried like a spider, uh, snake is going to jump out and bite me or something. A nice little access down to the beach, so it's not bad. We got access to the water. Unfortunately, we won't be able to drink this water because it's seawater, so that means we'll have to boil it. and All the usual survival stuff and mechanics and whatnot. Uh, there is a cave, too. I'm sort of interested, interested in how these caves work. Almost like you can tunnel your way in. Uh, can you actually see it? It's right over there. I'd imagine that's where you're going to find the iron and the other things that are in the game. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but they did have actually include glass. So there is sand you can get on the beach. I'll see you guys for lunch one of these days. Maybe. Maybe they go the other way around. But I believe, yeah, right here is a cave. This is quite interesting. 
and as you can see it's kind of open right now because the voxels haven't loaded but more or less that's a hole that we're going to be able to dig through and as you can see the chunks are actually building up right now they have everything sort of like uh, mineable objects instead of voxel deformation because it's a static map right so anyways uh, let's see where we're at with our stuff okay let's go ahead and do that i gotta punch a couple bushes down so uh let me find my way back and i'll be right back actually if i was smart i would make myself an axe or a tool or something put so here we'll make an axe quickly i need to use one of the fibers for that and i'll actually help me you know, take down the bushes faster than just punching them and show me next. Uh, there we go. And put that there. That's a. Uh, it's been a little buggy too trying to put that down there, but game still technically early access, so we are good. And I am wielding my axe. Good. So let's see how fast this goes down. Twice as fast. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it works. Uh, it is going to have durability too. Uh, I don't know if you know it's going to pick up the the sticks. So they have durability too because I can. Technically, use them as a weapon, or weapon, or a tool, for instance. Like I'm doing now. This definitely goes a, a lot faster, and tends to be swinging a little faster. So we'll just get this bush down. We'll pick up the fibers because that's all I really, really need right now. Uh, one thing I do like about this game is nothing actually despawns, so that fiber will sit there until I pick it up again. So. It's good, but it's also bad too because you can create a lot of ground clutter, which causes a lot of lag, and with com lag comes poor performance. All right, uh, craft a rope I can, and then when that's once that's done, oh, I also gotta build a hammer because in some games you actually need a hammer to be able to build. And I do have everything now. I think my crafting queue is just tied up right now. I'm going to do the hammer first. Priorities. Gotta love them. It's actually good. But those are bad too. Now, unfortunately, the, the axe and the hammer look fairly similar. We'll go here to our stations and we'll build our first workbench. And... Oh. Uh, I can't remember. I was trying to figure out how to rotate it. Um, yeah, I'm already lost. Oh yeah. Not sweet on. We'll just put that here for now because that's all we're going to do. And we switch to our hammer. And it'd be nice if there was a little indication of what you're using. And then I don't know if you can actually see, but like number of sticks is going down, and then the plant fibers are going going down, and then we get our first workbench. I can go ahead and interact with this, and then it shows all the things I can make. I can make all the smelting pots, casting funnels, which I don't think we actually need now because the molds, as far as I know, are not a thing anymore. We're supposed to be having um forge now unless it's a, a new upgrade unless I have an update actually no I did update it again anyway so what is next well we're gonna need some clay I guess uh, give me one sec okay I was wrong they just add as a late game sort of or I guess we call it a mid game kind of construct but now that I got some tools um, let's actually see what I can make for some storage here uh, where would that be under here under here, I guess. Uh, thatch chest. I do have enough. Cool. Alright. Uh, yeah. I do like the minimal increments on the mouse wheel, but it takes a long time. I like how you actually have to hammer the chest together, too. Cool. Eight slots. Perfect. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few more chests and gather some supplies and I'll bring you back. Okay, after a long, cold, dark night, I am back. Ah, uh, someone's starting to set, and I was starting to cramble, trying to go build a bed. And I was thinking that those palm leaves, but they're not. Uh, apparently there's some sort of bush there. Remember that we had to go gather. Uh, the sun just came up, so I think we've got to go take care of that. And then we'll probably look at uh, building some sort of structure. I built a campfire last night. It was supposed to give me some heat and, some heat and light. Uh, it doesn't give off any light. I don't know why. I was trying to mess around with this. I upgraded this and every station's got its own little upgrade thing here. You can go ahead and upgrade if it's possible, like this one here. I kind of goofed and tried to upgrade my crafting table, forgetting that I need nails for it. Uh, I do believe it was tin and I was talking about the, the metal working. They did 
didn't actually change it. What they've done is we'll go on here, we'll go to the, the consumables. And uh, I didn't notice this until now, or until last night while I was waiting for the sun to come up, which took forever. Uh, we make ingots now. Now the ingots, we actually have to... Yes, uh, uh, work in some sort of system that we don't actually have. So it looks like what we're going to have to do first is we're going to have to get some nails. It doesn't say what kind of nails we actually need. Because uh, then, as you can see, there's copper, tin, and bronze, but bronze is supposed to be an alloy of copper and tin, so we'll figure that one out. Anyways, uh, let's go find this bush I'm looking for. I was chopping a bunch of stuff down trying to collect some stuff, but I couldn't see nothing. So, it's supposed to be like a, a palmy looking thing, and yes, I do know I need to get some water. Um, and maybe that's my idea. Because I know there's... Uh, Somewhere over in that direction, there's some water, so if we go over there, we'll find clay. And there's always going to be clay around water sources, so that's always good. Uh, what do I have on me? Uh, do I have enough to make a shovel? Uh, let's find it. Uh, let's see, no, tools. Uh, there's no shovel. Hmm. Is it in here? Pliers. Oh yeah, yeah they move a lot of ingots. Yeah, all these things are gonna make. Huh, interesting. Oh, what? Okay, where do we? Hmm. Don't mind me, I'm lost here. I think we still have to upgrade the station for that. I don't know why it's showing up here, but I'm looking for a shovel. It appears there is no shovel, so I guess we just go hit it with an axe. All right. Let's go find, uh, let's go find some leaves to sleep on, and, uh, let's avoid the boars. Don't want to be wrecked on my first day. Oh wait, it's not the first day, it's okay. I can take one for the team. Hmm. I also noticed too that they have, uh, dry grass in here now. I don't know what that's for, um, I'd imagine it'd be for thatch, or maybe that's what we make our bread out of. I have no idea. But let's have a look. I'm trying to run too because apparently the days don't last as long as I expect them to do. So let's see what we can find up here, shall we? Uh, nothing. Hmm. Because I know there's going to be a river. If we find that river, it's going to be a find the, uh, the water, our water source. And we're also going to find our clay source. And we're gonna, as you saw, we're going to need the clay to really progress anywhere under this game. And I have no idea where I am. I'm lost. I know there's a waterfall over by the castle, so let's go check that out. No, I guess you wouldn't call it a castle. What would that be? The, uh, a stronghold? A keep? Hmm. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go do some searching, and I'll bring you back when I find something. Well, I found a river. I found some clay, and I think I found the leaves I'm looking for. Alright, let's go check these leaves out first. And... Oh yeah, that's right, this is the, the farm. So is this what I need? Apparently not. Hmm. Looks like it. But I do know... I need the clay. And this is the clay deposit right here. Hmm. I think I've got the wrong tool for the job. Actually, wait a minute. Is there a pickaxe I could make? I don't think I could make a stone pickaxe, could I? Oh, I could. Uh, let's see. I just need one rock. Hmm. If I were a stone, where would I be? I mean, not in my pocket, that's for sure. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, I found one. Right on the path behind me. And this time we don't have to worry about it, whether it's a jagged rock or a flat rock or a hard rock or whatever. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, uh, rope. And yes, I see the boars in front of me. I'm having one of those panic moments right now. Hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, I think they're okay as long as you don't get too close to them. So, uh, I'll be okay, I should say. Alright. I'm going to go to three. Okay. I had to make sure I was running the right one. Now, this should actually be able to get me this clay. 
That's not clay. This is clay. So much faster. Swinging it like a champ. Now, I don't know how much it's going to give me. It seems like everything's been giving me 10 so far in the game. Um, um, I've lost my clay. Uh, how do I coach again? Nope, that's not coach. There we go. Um, my clay disappeared. Hmm. That clay? No, that's rock. Well, that's kind of no good. Let's go try this one. Uh, it's not even registering for me on this one. Go over here. I got the boars we gotta watch out for. Hopefully they don't mind, they mind their own business and I'll mind my own. Now I know before it used to be a shovel you used to harvest this, this stuff, but it seems to be working. It just doesn't seem to be showing up. Any clay? One piece. And I can't even get it because it's underwater. Hmm. Oh, there's a bug. Oh, there's some clay over there. And, while I'm at it, we're looking for these bushes. Oh, this might be it. I don't know if this is it or not. Find out. Probably not. Find out in just a moment. And I remember before it was somewhat of a rare plant, but I also know there's supposed to be other types of beds you can make eventually. I didn't drop anything. Hmm. No, let's go back to this. Oh, which one? What is this? Ah, that's what I'm looking for. There's my bed. Go running into a bush not realizing there's gonna be like three or four boars on the other side charging towards me. Ah, that's one of survival. And this should give it to me, as long as we don't end up in the water and I can't reach them. Yeah, where are they? And it gave me three. Alright, well I know what that is. Let's go check see if the uh, clay will spawn properly onto the ground. Early access, I keep saying, early access. But this looks like this this looks like this is gonna be it. So I guess I'm gonna start ram stop rambling here. Do a cut, gather up some clay and some more of those leaves and I'll bring you back. Hey whoa Oh the one that got away. Alright, I'll be back. Now see what happens if you don't play a game for a while tend to forget things, things that are useful. I can't reach that clay under there because it's under the water. I totally forgot the inventory, the open inventory that shows you what's nearby. Ha ah. Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd point that little bonehead maneuver out so we can get the clay that's not a problem. Uh, where was the other one that I dropped? Uh, somewhere nearby. Anyway, I'll grab another bush and I'll be back. Okay, I am back, and I went and picked up the other clay that I left behind there, so we got plenty of clay on me, as you can, um, oh, that's not the wrong button, right button, no, it's, as you see, I picked up the clay that was already there, so let's go ahead and get out of that menu, because we're going to just build it in here, go ahead and build a bed, uh, actually, you know what, because I got the extra clay, stop hitting the right, wrong button, let's go ahead and build something. So they changed the, the building setup by the looks of it. It looks a little different than what it used to be before. So we can see you got a radio menu here. you got foundations, pillars, walls, ceilings, and all sorts of, sorts of stuff. Now, uh, as far as I can tell, there's only one variation at the start, and you have to upgrade each one as you go. So if I go ahead and build a foundation, build flat square or triangular foundation, we'll go ahead and build a square foundation, and we'll just place that right here. All right, then we go to our hammer. Um, oh yeah, go to the hammer. I uh, am in construct mode. There's different modes you can go: repair, upgrade, claim, or destroy. We're gonna go to construct. Now I need two branches and two clay ore. 
And I have two, two branches and two clay orbs. So this will be our first foundation. And by the looks of it, you have to build it all the way up to health because everything has durability or health or whatever. And there's our ugly foundation. Kind of like it. Anyway, uh, go ahead and place my belt up here. Okay, we'll do uh, that. All right. Don't know why you need to hammer leaves together, but sure. Oh, now I can actually pass the night away. Yay! So if I go and interact with that, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't know it was going to jump me into bed right away. Oh, I like that. You can sleep anytime, or does it automatically do a full day? That's a full day, but it looks good. And it's a bit cheaty. It filled up my hunger and water. Ooh. Love early access games. Okay. So, I guess the uh, next thing we're going to do is... Hmm. What am I going to do? I think it's a builder sells a house. I got clay, I got sticks, so uh, let's get some more foundations going. Alright, so we'll go foundation. For a foundation, we'll do one there, there. Uh... Hmm. I don't know how big I want to have this or which way I want to have it to go. That was a good placement on that fireplace. Like so, and I think we'll go with that for now. Uh, we should have enough clear for this, but we, I know where to go find it. Uh, what I should actually do first is start working about my uh, dietary needs, even though apparently I can just cheat myself, but I'm not going to do that. So I do know that we need to make one of these. And that's a handmade pot. We gotta fill that up with water. And we put that on top of this the that thing over there, the the campfire. Well I should make a couple of them. That's what we need the clay for. It is very important. Uh let's put some stuff away. Did a little bit of organization here, this sort of miscellaneous stuff, found some feathers. Need it for something sometime down the road, I don't know what. Uh, let's see what's in here. This is branches. Okay. And then I should have two clay jugs. Uh, that's one thing I like about games that when you craft more than you can carry, it puts, it, puts everything into, uh, well, drops it on the ground, I should say. It doesn't put everything in. And now we go ahead and replace these on here. And this is actually what I like is how, how games implement these dragon mechanics. Put that on there, and how much fuel do we have? Doesn't have any fuel. Well, it's got fuel, but why is it not eating up? Hmm. Now it's got fuel. And it's not... Not doing anything. Hmm. I'm wondering if maybe it's just the wrong spot. Put it on the fire? Nope. Hmm. No idea. It says it requires baking. Uh, let me look into this. Okay, I had one of those dummy moments. I'm sure I, they must have had this before and I just totally forgot about it. But there's a fire starter. What am I missing? Missing, uh... Fibers. Rope. I have rope. Yes, so there's that. Apparently, um... Fire starters you make now. Or maybe there always was, and I just wasn't paying attention. Alright, let's uh, try this again. Alright, go here. Go to tools. A fire starter. Oh, wow. It's weird how it... It shows that it's burning, but it's not. Anyway... Where is the uh, fire starter? It's going to be over here, because that's where I was crafting it. There it is, right on top. I like that. Alright. There we go. I was trying to figure that out. Now, I'm assuming this has to reach a certain temperature for the clay to start baking. So no, you do have to just put it on here to bake it. I don't know how hot this gets. We're going to find out. Maybe what we'll do 
In the meantime, I have clay. What did I need for this? Need branches. Let's go ahead and finish those foundations. And that's the wrong box. No, the wrong button. Anyway, branches there, branches there, and let's go finish up our the start of our amazing house. We all know it's not going to be an amazing house, it's just going to be a crap shack. Anyway, and there's another one done. And I'm having mouse issues again. Okay, where are we at here? Still baking. Temperature's still going up. Really? 500. Now why are you not baking? Hmm. Well, I should put you on the fire. Nope. No, no, get out of there. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's uh, not telling me how long it's baking for. It's telling me the capacity. Anyway, I'm gonna continue this. I'll be back. Well, there's my problem. I need a clay kiln for it. That's why I'm not actually it's not actually baking on there. So that means I need to go get more clay. I need four more because I finished up the foundation. And I did uh, change the hammer into upgrade mode. And yes, it does go into upgrade stage. So the next stage would be planks. But I don't have the woodworks yet, so we can't do that right now. So I'm going to go grab some clay, and I will be right back. And I'm back. Didn't take too long. I just had to find one one chunk. Took it down. Didn't take too long. All right, uh, clay kiln. All right. So I'm gonna put this up here. Um, storage was gonna be my working area, but we'll uh, deal with that later. I think. I think I'm gonna put it on this side because I really don't feel like rotating it all that way. I'm gonna have it around. All right. So what I want to do is sort of have like what I was sort of doing before, where I had a house and then I had a sort of a working area. All right. So I'm gonna go construct mode. I'm gonna go on. Hit this ghost for a little while. Doesn't take too long, but yeah, I don't think they had this one before. And I think cause I remember we did have to bake all the things on the fireplace, but now we actually have a clay kiln. That is cool. I like that. Oh, stage two. Is that it? I think it is. Okay, let's uh, go grab our pots. Actually, what I want to do is I want to fix this thing. Yeah, and then we're going to place another foundation down. And oh, there we go. Oh. oh, I need branches. Uh, we'll deal with that later. And my fire went out too. We'll go pick this stuff up. Uh, I do need fuel, which is why we cut and started to cut down half the forest. Uh, I'll take those. Uh, Put the fire starter away for now. Actually, no, I think, I'm, <laughs> I think I might actually need it. We'll leave it in there for now. Okay, so we go ahead and sort of like this mechanic, I just drag stuff into the actual things. Uh, so it's got 400 seconds of fuel. What's it? Uh, it's the upgrade node. And then we go ahead and we just place these things right inside here, like so. We close the lid. I love that. I love how I've been so interactive. Alright, and then I go to four. And there she goes. Oh. That's actually cool. I do like it. Now, would it be nice if uh, the texture of this, like, color and all that changed as it, as it baked? Alright, so, um, let's go ahead and finish up this foundation. I'm going to get more branches. Which are in here. I uh, probably should go around and clean up all the stuff that I've left laying around. Oh, oh, oh. I'm all over the place here. Okay, and... Finish this up, and then we'll go check on the clay and see how that's doing. It's a sloppy start, but it's a start. I'm still alive, and I haven't... Uh, I won't say I haven't died of starvation yet, because, you know, the bed's kind of bugged right now. So, is this done? Actually, 
know what, we'll do it this way. Oh, it's not going to let me actually check. Really? Do I just pull it out? Can I even get it out? That's the question. Baked! Haha! Okay, do that. Now, can I actually extinguish this? I don't think I can. Alright, well, we'll just have to remember one stick at a time. Alright, so now I actually have my clay clay pots. So I can actually go and collect water. Uh, this floor is ugly, I gotta admit. Uh, let me check on the time here. I think we're a little long, but uh, I'll check it and see where we're at. Alright, so I just looked at the time. We're almost there. Uh, I did want to do, uh, have a look at what other, we can, other things we can build right now. Uh, excuse me, it's been one of those days, one of those weeks, one of those years. I'm sure we all can agree. But I was looking through here, and apparently, where was it? Under tools? Yes. The backpack I can make. I'm actually going to make that. So I need two rope, I need two sticks, and I also need one of those leaves, which I just happen to have one left of. Take that out. And there's that dry grass I was talking about. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, but we will figure it out, and I will leave that there for now. Go over here and, and grab sticks. Uh, then I can put away in here. Hmm. I don't think any of the rocks. We'll put that there. And we'll go ahead and make a backpack. I don't know how much extra slots this gives me. Oh, it says right there, 10 slots. So that's going to be good. That's going to come in handy when I go looking for clay or stone or wood or anything like that. And hopefully that thing doesn't burn down my house. But we shall figure it out eventually. There it is. There's my backpack. I just love it. Uh, does it actually show on me? It does. Look, I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle. I'm sorry. I had to. There we go. Got so much more space for inventory space now. But I think it's a good place to call it. Um, yes, uh, the birds are seeing it for me. Uh, yeah, good place to call it here. We didn't get too much done. I was having trouble trying to figure things out. You know, like I said, it's been a while since I played any games really. So, surprising I got this far, isn't it? But, yeah, we got our clay set up, we got some sort of foundation, I think next episode we're going to start getting more of this built up and start progressing towards the metalworking once we go explore that cave. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.